The partially refilled Tulare Lake is so large, with so much water spread over so much land, that it's changing nearby weather. The lake stretches across the horizon as far as the eye can see in many places and is now about the size of Lake Tahoe. The vast amount of water has started to change the weather nearby. It's still the lowest spot in the San Joaquin Valley. So, when snow and rain slam the state as happened this year, the region's typically placid rivers roar to life and seek their ancient terminus. That's what happened in March this year. And though levees have kept the lake refilled in patches, the sheer amount of water is amazing. The water can also lead to an increase in humidity, something that people can probably feel in the San Joaquin Valley where it is normally dry. With a heat wave rolling in over the weekend, temperatures in the valley are expected to soar upwards of 110 degrees. But immediately around the lake, temperatures could be around 95 to 100, said Carlos Molina, meteorologist at the National Weather Service's Hanford Station. The lake also creates a pressure difference because of its cooler temperatures. That will create a lake breeze effect, said Molina.